I've been searching, trying to find five free plugins that will blow you guys away. And of course, as always, I found them. Here are five free plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro. Number one, Isotope Vinyl. This one is not made for Premiere, which is why you probably never heard of it. I have a background in music production and I use this plugin a lot there to make my songs sound like they were being played on vinyl. Now this plugin also works in Premiere and it's amazing. After installing, head over to the effects menu and then choose manage audio plugins. In here, click scan for plugins and make sure vinyl is checked. Then click Click on OK. Always do this for VST plugins. Now make sure to use the VST3 version of Final and drag it on your clip. Once applied, head over to the effect controls and in here click edit to open up the plugin. There you go. This already sounds great by default. Now on top, you can choose a year. The lower you go, the older it sounds of course. If you increase the wear knob, your music will sound more damaged. As if your vinyl or record player was damaged. Now on the top right, you can introduce mechanical distortion. Sounds awesome. Next, you can also add electrical distortion. Just beautiful. These three sliders here are magical. The warp slider will literally warp or bend your notes. It will make your song sound a little out of key. I really enjoy this plugin and of course you can also use this on speech if you're trying to sound like you're coming out of an old TV or something. Free plugin number two, Tall Reverb. I don't really like the built-in reverb effects from Premiere, which is why I always use Tall Reverb or Valhalla Supermassive. Imagine these people in church vibing to a trap beat. Whatever, it doesn't sound right because there should be reverb in church and it shouldn't be a trap beat. That's where Tall Reverb comes in. Remember, use the VST3 version, then drag it to your song. In the effect controls, click edit to open up the effect. And without even touching it, the reverb already sounds better than Premiere's default effect. Now this can be a lot to take in, so if you want, I'll make an entire video about it, but just let me know down below. But for now, let me explain these two controls. The dry control is the original sound that comes into the plugin. The wet control is the reverb. So the more you drag this one up, the more reverb you'll have. It's that easy. Now it's time for a bonus tool called Submagic. This tool will help you make animated captions, generated b-roll from Sora and so much more. So right here I'm in my dashboard. I click generate captions and then upload my video. It will now automatically detect the spoken language and when I'm done, I click generate captions. Wait a second and there you go. Next you'll see these presets and like I always say, my favorite one is Leon. It's simply the best looking in my opinion. They add new presets constantly by the way, so you're never bored. You can adjust the position and scale so it fits my video or you can change the color if you'd like. Editing captions is super simple because you don't really have to. It just doesn't really make mistakes. And if it does, you can always adjust it in here. Adding B-roll can be done here. In the AI B-roll step, you can simply type in whatever shot you need and Submagic will generate it using Sora. I mean, isn't that awesome? Now, when I'm done, I click export and choose my quality settings. In the meantime, you can generate a caption with hashtags that fits your video. Next to captions, you can also use magic clips. This will turn one long video into multiple shorts. It automatically detects potential viral clips which is extremely useful. You can edit all of them as much as you want. You have full customizability. And of course, you can add captions the same way as you learned before. I mainly use this tool to turn my long form videos into shorts. For me, it's super efficient. I'll leave a link down below so you can try Submagic for free or use the code Premier Basics for 10% off. Now it's time for free plugin number three, TDR Nova. This plugin is an equalizer. I know Premiere has one built in, same thing as with the reverb, it sucks. TDR Nova is used by a lot of music producers because it's a super high quality EQ and it's free. 
This is what it looks like. This right here is the audio spectrum. On the left you'll see the lows, like the sub and bass frequencies. In the middle you'll see the mid frequencies and on the right you'll see the high frequencies. Now you can do a lot with an EQ and if you want I'll make a video about that too. Again just let me know down below. But let me show you a simple trick that I use to enhance my videos. This is what I do on every background song that I use. So this is a song and this is my EQ applied to that song. What I do is make sure the high pass band is enabled. Then this little band right here will appear. Then you just grab it and turn it to the right. This will remove the low frequencies from the song. They take up a lot of space and that's why they can clash with your speech. And this trick will fix that. Let me over exaggerate it so you can understand what it does. Awesome. Number 4. Odin Pro Free. This is actually my plugin. For real, it's brand new and to be honest we have a free and a paid version. However, the free one is not a trial, it's fully working, free forever. You know what, I'll show you. You'll get free transitions, completely yours to keep. All of this you can see right here is for free. Let's check out the transitions. Now to apply one of them, you just find what you like and drag it into the timeline. It will be applied at the location of your play -ed. There you go. Same thing goes for the other stuff. You'll get some lower thirds, social media animations, messages, shapes, backgrounds, all for free. Enjoy! Hope you like it. Number 5. Portal. This plugin is so basic that I don't understand why it isn't in Premiere by default. Portal looks completely empty when you open it for the first time. But in here, you can create portals to folders on your computer. All you gotta do is drag some folders in here that you want to access a lot and there you go. It's that simple. Oh, and by the way, all plugins are linked down below. Free plugins are always useful and that's why I keep making these videos. You guys love them. Other creators love them because they straight up copy my videos and they don't even try to change the order of the free plugins. But hey, what does it matter? As long as you guys are happy, I'm happy. Thank you guys so much for watching.